Hi, my name is Roy Pleasance for MD, and I'm a specialist in asthma medications. In this video, I want to give you an overview of what medications are available to treat asthma. There are two main groups of medications to treat asthma. They are called relievers of symptoms and controllers of symptoms. Let's talk about relievers for asthma. Everybody with asthma needs a reliever inhaler. They are sometimes called rescue inhalers. The most common is the albuterol inhaler or nebulizer, which quickly opens up or dilates the breathing tubes. But because fast-acting dilators do not fight inflammation, the redness and swelling in your breathing tubes a new recommendation is these medications should be given along with inhaled steroid, which does fight inflammation. Another type of reliever is the steroid pill called prednisone. It works to fight the redness and swelling in the breathing tubes. It can be a life-saving drug during asthma attacks. Now let's talk about controllers of asthma symptoms, which include inhalers, a pill, and shots. Most people with asthma will need a controller inhaler simply because asthma is a condition with chronic inflammation. All controller inhalers contain a steroid medication and they are often combined with one or two long-acting dilator medications that open up the breathing tubes directly. These work well for many people with asthma and they work best when they are used regularly and correctly. The Monte Lucas pill is a daily controller medication for asthma that fights inflammation. It also helps with allergies. The newest controller medications shown here are called biologics. These work on inflammation in a way that's different from steroids. They're given as an injection or shot, often at home, anywhere from every two weeks to every two months. They are used when controller inhalers do not work well enough to prevent asthma attacks when asthma symptoms continue to be very bad, and for those who have to take prednisone every day. There are now many effective medications to treat asthma. Understanding these medications and the options you have is important for you to create an asthma treatment plan that is right for you. If you can't get your asthma medications for some reason, or if they aren't working properly, let your doctor know.